And then Danny Lyon. So Danny is at the Whitney right now. Uh, if you haven't seen the show, go see his show. It's fairly spectacular. It's an amazing career of work. This is a series called The Bike Riders that he did in 1967. And this series is the one that made him the most famous. Up until, I don't know, 10, 12 years ago, he couldn't sell this work. The book was remaindered twice when he did it. Um, these vintage prints now sell for $30,000. This being the most famous one, Crossing the Ohio. And when he started doing this work in the 60s, there was no market. You made a print to put into a book. And so you made it for reproduction. And so um, it, there, there was no kind of intention to sell it. Or there was no thought about, I'll make 10 prints because in 2005, they'll be worth a hell of a lot of money. This is a series of works that he did in Chicago. And it's very, uh, it's not known. It's a spectacular series called Uptown. And it's a little, it's a, it's a group uh, in South Chicago of um, uh, refugees from southern Germany who moved to this part of Chicago and, and started their own little ghetto. And this is one of his last big series. It's called Indian Nations. And so 1997, um, again, it's a beautiful book. Um, it's all done with Polaroid. And it's all printed on old, expired uh, Kodak Ektalor paper. So these prints are actually extremely yellow. And they're tiny. They're 8 by 10 inches. But Danny never lost that. I mean, his photography is always about a culture. And he'll go to these cultures. His last book on China, um, done by Fiden, it's a spectacular book. He went to China not for nine years before they <coughs> produced the book. Um, this was about a three-year period where he just, and I went on one trip with him, driving through North and South Dakota. Um, just finding reservations. He lives in New Mexico now, and he actually lives on a piece of property that is owned by Native Americans, and they've leased that property to him for 99 years because the part of the house cuts across a piece of their property. And so we used to go there, um, and it's in Bernalillo between Albuquerque and Santa Fe, and we used to go there and teach the Native American children for two weeks photography and do projects with them, which was great.